came you, real bad. Are you about to tell me? <laughs> you, you can't have do. your mic up there like this. No, I don't tell me where I came. Let me, first of all, let me check. Let me check myself. You know how you be before see. the pod start with your little mirror and shit. Let me see how cool I look. Come on, Lou. Oh, uh, I look dumb as shit. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not doing this. I look dumb as shit, so. <laughs> And you laughing for this shit. You didn't really do that do dumb it. shit. No, I, I told you not to. And that's another dumb shit. Why would you do that? Can't nobody tell. Can you tell? I don't forgive and fuck. My shit blending in. You look crazy as hell. Man, we... <laughs> Why your light out. blinking? It is. You look green? Oh, shit. You <laughs> <laughs> about to snatch a patch? Oh, we good. Oh, we good. Back in there. <laughs> Fuck you, thought. We're gonna have some shit to talk about. We're gonna have some shit to talk about today, baby. Oh man. Yeah, you disrespectful as shit. <laughs> Ain't no goddamn all man with your disrespectful ass. <laughs> Welcome on the smoke. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Man, smoke. you ain't about to be disrespectful. I got some motivation this week, though. Hey. Off my breezy. Mama, pray for me. I got some motivation this week, y'all. I'm excited about it. I worked on this, too. Let me hear. Let me hear. Let's go. There is no amount of gifts affirmation. Oh, no. No, no, no. That ain't what I want. Yeah, we're going to get this right. I, don't, I want people to hear this. Because, you know, sometimes you got to let the world know. We're going to get our shit together, though. We <laughs> Welcome to episode 133 of MTMJ Podcast with the wife. I am him. She is you. I am. What? She is who? <laughs> yeah, I'm on my shit. She is you. That's what I said. I ain't going to keep myself. I am the wife in the beginning and at the end of the day. Okay. Even though I be one boop, 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 Let's go. Boop. There is no amount of gifts, affirmation, courtesy, or kindness you can offer oh, toward a person that is doing. already determined not to like you that will change their behavior towards you. Mm-hmm. You would be surprised how many people are dealing with some kind of self-condemnatory internal complex that they have masterfully figured out a way to turn around on other people. They project their own ill feelings about themselves on others. If you're a decent person, a kind person, it is not an unnatural thing to wonder why don't you like me? What have I done to you? The truth is sometimes when you personally demonstrate too much joy, it can irritate those who hold hostility in their hearts. You're a happy person. You're always happy. So what happens is those who intentionally harbor hatred within themselves, they don't like that. You annoy them. And when a person is unhealed, it's unfortunate and it's sad, but they usually don't know how to ask for assistance to help improve their own lives. So instead of looking at you saying, man, you're where I want to be, they just decide not to like you. They don't want to do the work, so they've decided, I'm going to be mad at everybody, and you just happen to be in their way today. Do not take ownership of another person's toxic feelings that they are trying to project on you, especially when you know you haven't done anything to merit that measure of behavior. If they're determined not to like you, you be determined not to care. (laughs) Talk about some vibing. I was vibing with that. You wasn't vibing. Fault. Don't, don't, so don't. We got the Michael. So, yeah, just because you wasn't vibing, that doesn't mean nobody else wasn't vibing. You're right. You, you were, see, that's the problem. You spent too much time on this podcast worrying about yourself and Ooh. you're not worrying about the people that's watching and listening. That's yeah, what, I'm what you got to say about that now? What but if I don't about? like it and I ain't rocking with it, how am I going to think somebody else is rocking with it? Because I just told you. And then you have it. So there you go. That's what that's what's the balance, right? Yeah, I'm not about to do this. What you what you ain't about to do is blow my high or blow my drink. You're not about to <sighs> I stay fucking that up though. No, so. midway. <laughs> thank you for listening to and thank you for watching <laughs> MTMJ Podcast with the wife. What's this episode, baby? One thirty. Nine. <laughs> one thirty three. Oh my! So what you? But that, it's one thirty three, right? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't listening to you. That's the problem. Okay. Don't never mind listening to me. 
I don't ever want to listen to you. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be starting something? Mm mm. You want to fight? I can. Once I get what I'm trying to get out, get out. Give me violence. All right, so apartment complex owner gives her tenants a free month of rent for the holidays. Yay. Where the hell was this lady? Where was this lady at when I uh when <laughs> when I was renting an apartment? Why I couldn't get in a free month in December? I mean, a lot of people ain't getting a free month. So to be month. honest with you, but it's like I mean, it's kind of oh, nice because you know for what her. going through. Good for her. She and charging all this goddamn situation. money for rent. And now she want to give people a free month. Good, good, good job. It's good even, one month. Do, it's not even that. Because it's not a high income location either. It's low income. She basically like did a buyback from, you know, an area. Okay, how about for the person and who. And that's like kind of thoughtful. Because, you know, people no, are struggling. That's it's not like, thoughtful. I want you to make sure that your kids have a good holiday. No. And still I'm, have a roof I over I want my head. shit today. You don't I'm think being that's honest. nice? No, I don't think that's nice. Hand me oh, the okay. Xbox controller. No, I don't think that's nice. You want okay, me to tell you why I don't you think want, that's you nice? Push play? You no, want I don't want to push no goddamn play. I'm moving it out the way. Oh. Nobody care if I play Xbox. Listen to me. You want me to tell you why that's not goddamn nice? What about the person that paid you a year already for their rent? What they get? Who paid the year already? You know how many people that if okay, if it's low cam, low income They still pay each month. They know that. And I get my taxes back in January mm-hmm. and my rent is two hundred dollars a month. What is that? Um, what is that for you? Who's paying that? What you mean? Who gonna pay that with their tax money? Can when I they going on trips, they buy on weave, trip. they doing all okay, like, they ain't gonna do all that. They gonna work. get a car that's gonna last them until June because it's gonna get repo because they gonna have money yeah. for it. Who did it? Who doing that? Last year, no one popped out and showed out for tax season. Who's no one? No, no one, one you know? Sonya. No one, any of us know the 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 buzz around four twenty and everybody saying, "Oh, I'm gonna claim your child, your child, your child, your child." None of that. None of that happened this year. Cause they all getting PPP back. No, no one can stuff. get PPPs. No, they are going to jail now. They all pull them up. Everybody if I pay, up. if my rent is two hundred dollars a month, okay, and I decided, well, since my rent is two hundred dollars a month. I'm going to go on and pay my rent for the entire year. Okay. And then I find out that for the month of December, you didn't let me know back in January you was going to do this. You waited to the month of December to tell me after the 1st of December that you're going to give us free December rent. Okay, and I'm quite sure the thing to do, she's probably going to do is, okay, well, you paid yours in advance. January, you're good. And what if she doesn't? Then that's a conversation to be had. I mean, but that was a blessing. She ain't have to do that. So either way, your rent needed to get paid. You was just the the one that actually was responsible when they paid your rent in advance. I do a lot of community service a lot, but I felt like if I was going to give back, I want to give to people who give. Oh, she said give back. Yeah, take it. You ain't like her good deed. So I loved her good deed. No, you didn't. But I also got a pod. <laughs> I also got a pod to uh to cure up, and what I felt like I was thinking in my mind said I'm more better than us just reporting about this lady, uh, giving everyone a free month of December. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I decided to look at it from the opposite side. Okay. Cause wrong with that. even if your rent was a thousand, what if you decided that okay, for the entire year I'm I can afford to pay my rent for the entire year. And then she decides on December 6th that she's going to give me uh, the fir- the last month of the year for free. But she can't tell you in December the 6th if the rent is due before then. That have been in November. Everyone's rent ain't due on the 1st. Some people rent but be people due on the 5th. Normally it's due when you move in. It's normally due between the 1st and the 10th. Okay. People rent is due. So, so I wouldn't tell you on the six when I know eighty five percent of the people already done paid their rent. What if it's low income? Then it's not eighty five percent of the people. How? 
You just said it's low income, Sonya. But I'm just saying, so how? Low so how you gonna pay the whole late. year? So how you gonna pay for the whole year? Listen, if you already low income. When I all right, let's talk about it. Rent, let's I talk about I ain't pay on time. I'm gonna be honest. Let's talk about it. They never got that. But what does that? Ha- what does that mean for anybody that is low income? Them is does that mean that they're gonna be able to pay the whole year? But what if they did? But I was asking you. Could you just Same say because if they're low income, they're not paying it on time. So how you gonna pay it up for a year? What if you decide for December you're gonna be late and you paid though before she announced that she was going? She said she did it before December, doof. I keep why saying be, that. Why gotta be a doof? Because <laughs> you keep going at You're not talking to me. You're talking to the person who came up with the opposing side of this story. And that was you. No. I just you. came up with the opposing <laughs> It was somebody else. It wasn't me. But yeah. Anyway, that is good for her. Congratulations to uh, what's her name? We don't know her name. I would love to show people love. Don't just tell me. Don't keep uh, pause that while I'm talking. Hello. I paused it. Are you looking at something for the podcast? I am. I'm oh, going all right. into the. <laughs> oh, all right. Don't go into the next topic. I ain't finished with this one. Shave Room, don't tell us about a wonderful gifts that people are doing. And you, you label this TRS Positive Images. But you don't allow us the information that we really need to know. Who this lady is, where she located, and how can we really... She is in... Uh, okay, let me look. Maybe they did. Cotton Skin Care CEO Brenna Richards surprises her tenants uh, at her apartment complex that she owns with free rent for the month of December. Aside from that, she shared that she would be setting up a class to teach him about homeownership as well. I got another argument. I'm glad I read this and saw this. Why would you be teaching people uh, about homeownership when you're trying to keep them at your apartment so they keep on paying no, rent? No, no, no. And if you read into it and actually Did listen at the thing, you would know. This isn't a... Her goal is not for you to be permanently having to owe anyone. Her goal is to help you get in a position to own your own. <laughs> Ooh, you told me. Okay. So if your fact is it may be low income, but you may be able to still pay this rent and save to be able to purchase a home. So if in fact your rent is two hundred dollars, when in actuality your budget was to be a thousand dollars, that's eight hundred dollars for you to set aside. Girl, you been annoying. <laughs> you about to get on my nerves. You about to, cause you want to do the opposing side, but your opposing side is not even making sense. It's really giving hate. Like this woman is doing something. Let her be great and do it. The fuck? No, 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 no. We not gonna just breeze past this. You know what I'm more excited about? <laughs> that she didn't put a fucking story. Or, I mean, that she didn't just put anything on our podcast list for us to talk about. She actually put something on there and actually looked this backstory up, girl. Toast. Toast. Oh, you hating. No, I'm not toasting a hater. Toast. I'm not going to toast the hater. Can you please toast? Can you no. please toast your husband? <coughs> ma'am, ma'am. No. Can you no. please? Listen, can no. you please? That's hate. That's hate. Wow, how's that hate? That's I'm, big I, This hate. is celebration. No, nah, that's when big people, hate. Listen, when people big toast. Hate. What the hell? Big hate. When, when, mm-hmm. <laughs> listen. When you celebrated someone, right? You toast. Congra- it's a congratulation toast. Nah, I don't feel like it. It seemed hate. like hate, but it's, it's more. Hate. Nah. It's me congratulating you for actually doing the footwork outside of just doing the hand work. What? I do the footwork on the east, and if I'm not, it's always that I don't do nothing. How about that? You want to stop sitting here playing with me? You're not about to do that. <laughs> no rev, nothing. <laughs> she prays right into my ass. Yes, yes. No. Yes, I'm yes. I'm not doing this with you. Hey, Sonia. Nah. <laughs> Sonia, I appreciate you. Uh-uh. We're gonna skip down to the the topic I wanted to talk about from the beginning. Let's no, 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 no. Come on, let's That's go. too serious. It's too early for that. It no. is. We already yes. on that bullshit. Why no, that? no, we ain't on no bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay. 
So how would you feel if your nanny decides to go back to her home now and your kids are like losing their goddamn mind for the nanny? I would feel like how, shit. How would you feel as a parent? I would feel like shit. I bet you would. You want me to tell you why I know? Because I remember so much. 20 to 30 episodes back, we talked about how Kim uh, hired a male nanny to be with her son. Mm-hmm. And how you thought that was okay. Because Kanye isn't there, even though he is. If your child gets real cool with that child, I mean with that nanny, and he respects the nanny more than he respects you, then what are you saying? I will feel that's what I say. I will feel some sorry. Even if I had a nanny, I still wanna be it is not for the nanny to raise my kids. I still need to be present. Listen. Like, it's a difference between having a nanny and them being somebody to help and assist you versus them being there and they're actually being you. So, yeah. Like, you are never present. Like, the kids just see you in the past. No, that's not. No. So, I said it was good for her and that's what worked for her. But that is not saying that that works for me. Hey, so yeah, them kids lost their ass. They did when that lady got. I was watching that video, and but I was really, I actually was a little confused because then Jocelyn comes on and states, "These are her words, not mine." If your baby is, hold on, no, I, I think it's better to hear from her. Hearing it from us don't really give it the justice it deserves. So let's let's hear Jocelyn say. Um, Stevie, <laughs> we ain't gonna hear Jocelyn do nothing. I'm telling you, cause you be getting at it and don't be having nothing ready for push to start. Boop. You talk about it, you should be already. Boop. Ain't that what you think I'm doing? Look, if I could do it, I would. It's like they deleted it. Okay, well, on to the next. No, it's it's important that I get this out. <laughs> No, it's not. It's not. Okay. <laughs> cheat on her, but don't beat on her. My Cheat on her, but don't beat on her. That's Boosie stating. And once I get this shit clued up, that's a clued up? Yeah. Cued up? Mm-hmm. You can hear exactly what Boosie said. And then you can form your opinion about your daughter dating another male... However, you wish to form that opinion. Don't let don't let Boosie and I uh, dictate how you and your child connect. You decide whether you want your child to be beat on or cheated on. Cause to me, both of them motherfuckers sound bad. So he should have said something else. Because I think to cheat on someone is physically, or no, not physically, but emotionally beating on them. Specifically, if they you you two feel a certain way about one another. I'm just waiting for you to get it queued up. So you ain't gonna never get it queued up. I'm just being here with you, like what? What are you doing? <laughs> My daughter just take me, she got a boyfriend, she want me to meet him, be nice. Just don't hit her. Love her. I don't give a what you do. Just don't hit her. You can cheat on her, I don't give a damn. Whatever. Just don't But we all know, what the fuck was that? I was tossing something and I missed. So do you how, do you feel like Boosie? What he said? No, <laughs> because I feel like if you cheat on her, she gonna come to me. Oh my god, and that's my baby, and I'm gonna be like, we yeah, uh, get him, and then oh oh, daddy, he punched me. We yeah, I'm gonna kill him, get him and kill him. So I guess you <laughs> rather get him than kill him. Because then potentially we we jam both of us up. Because I'm gonna kill you, but then I'm gonna end up 
spending the rest of my life in jail because I killed you. So get him or kill him. Both of those seem, seem bad. Just You just prepare your child. That's all you can do. Like, ain't no other way of looking at it. I don't know, like, I don't. I don't know no easy way around it. And from his, uh, I was expecting a whole lot <laughs> different from the daddy standpoint. What you expect? Of how you are you. with your daughter? Did you did you just not hear what I was you about to say? Get him, or get him. Then the baby, ain't nobody. You ain't think about none of that shit. Your ass is done. Yeah, I'm going to jail. <laughs> that ass is. Done. Man, I'm going to jail. Ain't no, ain't no if buts about it. If I anything happened in Alex's lifetime, and she do not want that person to be unalived, <laughs> invincible, poof, be gone. She need to keep it to herself. And yeah. that she's really ready for that situation. <laughs> It's so important to hug with each other, tell each other how much you love them. You know, even if it's out of the blue, grab your club with a tip to what they mean to you. Because you're going to regret it one day. You don't want to regret it. But if you have loved ones, you make sure you go see them. And you go hug them, call them if you can. Just tell them what they mean to you. If you have if you have them, you can sell them today. You'll feel better. It'll make you feel better. It'll make them feel better. Just love you, love ones. Make sure you do that. I'm gonna hold on to every memory I have, and I'm so blessed for it. I just miss it tremendously. I wish I could not hold it. We want borrowed time, all of us. What are we gonna do with that time? Is the question. What are we gonna do with our time? Are we gonna make a difference? Are we gonna real rage? Are we gonna act really courteous and not open the door for somebody? I mean, when did we stop here? It's ridiculous in our country. We should be loving each other. we supporting each other. Doesn't make a difference you're black, white. Don't make a difference you people are all humans. Love each other. Don't, don't judge people by their look. Understand what's in here first. Uh, now I want to take a I want to take a moment to be serious. I think I think. What was that? It was just something I saw today, and I and I thought it would oh, be important to bring up on the podcast. <laughs> um, you know, this man lost his wife to cancer, and the way his emotions are. It seems as if he didn't spend enough time with his wife when she was alive. And he wished he had spent more time just loving on his wife, just telling her he loved her just because. It didn't have to have no meaning associated with it or no date associated with it. But just tell people, basically just tell him her how much he appreciate her. Because we on ball time, as we all know, like, there's life and then there's death. <clears throat> Sometimes people live longer than others. And the the message behind this video, yeah, you see the emotions, but it's it's basically like take advantage of your time. Like specifically with the people that you care about the most. And I thought this correlated with me the most is because when while I feel like I'm in a season of like like reset or whatnot, like I cherish the time that I'm actually physically in the house on a regular where I'm not totally consumed by a clock. And while I don't really truly get to dictate my my, my, my work schedule the way I envision myself to do it at some point in my life, I understand that I'm working towards it. But what has resonated with me was because I've always took jobs and took positions in life while I've had a family that I felt wouldn't, wouldn't, I mean, in this mature place of my life, but that I felt wouldn't be taking me away from my family, where I felt like I needed to work 80, 90 hours to be able to provide for them. Like, I always wanted to make sure I was present. So I want to take this time in this podcast just to tell you, so the people can see how much I appreciate you and how much I love you. 
Because there's sometimes where I may be going through it. I may be crying on the inside and not showing it. But I rely on your love because I am struggling to, to love myself the right way in the moment. So, I love you. And I appreciate you. And I didn't really do that to, to make you do all this cry. But I know for a fact that a lot of people, right, they so focused right now in this life we live in on how much money they can make. Um, and... Um, they not they not realizing that they just losing years, and those years that they losing are invested in man and companies and not invested in their families. So, mm-hmm. you know, I feel like it's important. Like I, I'm, I, I think you know I'm always bigging up my family, and I'm almost I'm always vi- v- bigging up my purpose. Like my purpose wasn't put on this earth. To be working all the time and exhausted and doing this just to pay bills. Because I I can see if I was inconsistent. And my message is always saying, you know, stay this I mean, has always been the same. I I can't be nothing without them because it sucks to be alone, dog. But it also sucks to get old. And you gotta understand that. Each year that passes, you're not getting no younger. So, like, you, I look at, you know, people like my wife's grandparents. And you watch them daily about, you know, how much they loved on each other. How much they cared for one another. And then when Pops didn't have her by his side anymore, you know, while he was sad, he wasn't crying every day. You know why? Because he loved on his wife when she was here. Right? A lot of love. And that's why I think those type of things for me are important. And I didn't do this to... <coughs> excuse me. I didn't do this to... Not the both. To be all emotional and stuff. I just, you know, just wanted to be... Yeah, whatever. That's why we're recording. Get on my nerves. I don't get on your nerves. You get on your own nerves. You don't look over where I am. We're really recording. I'm trying to stretch my hands off. You said what? I'm really am. Like Why I gotta be an asshole? Why I gotta be annoying? But anyway, we moving on. No, I don't. This is the topic of yours. Let's see Cause you look crazy as shit. The shit sitting on your forehead. <laughs> I like just noticed it. I just noticed that shit Fuck was it. sitting on your forehead like a motherfucking bum Fucking eater, dog. <laughs> yeah, that shit was sitting on your forehead like a bum bum. I'm a hater. Alright, we gonna get this shit together. We gonna find a good position for these mics in a good position. Yeah, because this shit is crazy. Get her. <laughs> Look, we need to get one of the little the little stand things. That like stand over the joint and catch the audio like they use in the studio. We're gonna do that one day. And I'm about to try. You know, it's hot out here for a pimp. Okay. <laughs> what hater? Right. Go ahead to the next topic. You just said next, to topic. next topic. But this is your topic. <laughs> you want to talk about some shit that happened last year with Mike Tyson being sued? They been said that wasn't about the motherfucking go through. That dude sat on that airplane the entire time with that dude last year in April and harassed Mike Tyson like a motherfucker. So Mike Mike Tyson boo bopped the shit out of his ass. I'm talking about boo bopped the shit out of his ass. That nigga face was clear <laughs> and then the next picture still they had, that nigga was all up <laughs> done looking stupid as shit. <laughs> Maybe he didn't know who Mike was. Of. He didn't. Maybe he didn't know. But my whole thing. I and think the crazy part is, Mike at that time that he booboped the shit out of him. Mike was training like a motherfucker. I think he did. I think he was like, <coughs> he's a you know. He think them hands registered. Yeah, and he that same, stop him. He's like, that same know. shit applies. That they don't understand. I think the that's the bullying shit right there. When they, oh, his hands register, so if he hit me, he can go to jail. He's but not he, going to lose his, he's not he, going to lose he that. He wasn't hitting them to, like, 
to boot bop him like a boxer. He was booping that nigga upside his head. <laughs> he was still his hands heavy. I bet they are, but that's on him. <laughs> heavy is the crown that you lay on my head. And he kept laying his breath on his head. <laughs> but it's the fact that people do that. Like they antagonize celebrities and things of that nature for a payday. Man, he thought he was going to get that full fish. <laughs> he got paid. <laughs> He got paid, all right. <laughs> paid with lumps. <laughs> he got paid with motherfucking lumps. And I a, bet you next time he's going to white ass a line. Oh, man. All right, so we got an update on the Kansas City school system situation with Sonya Glenn. With the two dudes? <laughs> <laughs> what? Sonya claims what? Sonya claims what? Sonya claims that boy was a girl. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that grown ass boy. <laughs> that, boy. that grown ass boy walked up to that strong ass white boy and said, Come on then. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, uh, upon further review, uh-huh. that boy that was impersonating a girl <laughs> approached that white man and pushed him. At that point, he got. Humble. But the assault was already happened because the white so, boy rate threw racial slurs. That's not an assault. That is. <laughs> oh, who? On the black person. Oh, now you want to call him a black person. Now you don't even want to identify as a girl. That is a girl. I tell you, boy. It's a girl. <laughs> so, yeah. That was a girl. I'm glad I do editing. Because you get an opportunity to see shit. When I went back and looked at this current situation. You saw a girl. I saw a boy. <laughs> Even talk like a boy. That girl had a strong ass deep voice. And this still like, don't mean. No, this is exactly what she did. Don't make me laugh. This is what she did. What she did. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, come on, don't make me laugh. I gotta get you I saw it in your peripheral. You made me laugh. In don't my peripheral? Yeah, the, the minds. I said okay. I saw it in my peripheral. The way you look at me. Don't look at me like that. Anyway, look. <laughs> I'm looking this way. This is what you did. You said what? You called me a what? Let's go then. <laughs> That nigga sound like Goldberg. The chick that you call it a dude. I mean, the dude that you call it a chick sound like straight up Goldberg. Then he attempted <laughs> to throw a haymaker at the white dude. White dude catches the haymaker, holds her hand, him hand, and just pummels him. <laughs> I'm talking about pummels the shit out of them. And the problem is, there had to be at least 15 kids in that hallway. Mine is the person that was recording. I swear to God, none of them really tried to break it up for real. It took an administrator to come out in that hallway, knock all the 15 kids out of the way, <laughs> and to break up that fight. No! Stop hitting on him! On her! <laughs> you never think he's doing that! On her! I'm just telling you what they say. They say it on her! Stop hitting on him! <laughs> all you, all you, all you see her head is doing like this. <laughs> do, do, do. By this time, he got her head down. Do, 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 do. He got her head down, yeah. That, since you want me to call him or her, he should have got suspended too, both of them. Anyway. They did. Shawnee Mission but East the boy, the charged the boy got charged with a and racist attack on black student. Upon further evidence, he will not be charged with none of that stuff. It will be chopped up as a normal high school fight between normal high school dudes. <laughs> How many, I've, got, I've got into a high school fight before, and we both called each other's niggas. And well, I swear both? to 
Did you not hear that man say it's not, it's not about no, no, white no. or black? Ah, were y'all both? <laughs> huh? Hello? Okay, maybe Hello? Sh- maybe Hello? should have said, "Man, I will beat you <laughs> up." You think she would have took that as an insult too? If oh, he had gosh. called her a man, even though she looked like one, so yeah. In the heat of the moment, that girl I had a buzz kidding. cut. I mean, a short buzz cut, but it was like a ush kush bush whoosh. <laughs> what? I'm just telling you what I saw. Oh. I looked at that video at least thirty times, and I never saw a girl. Omg. The only girls I saw oh. was the one was saying, "No, stop hitting on him." <laughs> That's the that's the only that's the only girls I saw. <laughs> oh. You know we did all this and I still not read exactly what's happening in Kansas City. I just make it been making jokes for like the last eight minutes. Oh I don't care. Gee. So the white male, Shawnee Mission East High School student, has been charged with felony aggressive battery after hurling a racist slur and beating a black boy student in the school hallway. The 15-year-old male was charged in Johnson County District Court as a juvenile for causing bodily harm in the attack against a black sophomore, which was caught on video sparking protests and rallying in the community. A hearing has been set for January, I mean December 6th. Well, that has passed. I can't tell you what's happened since then. But tell that boy he need to keep his hand off the other boys. <laughs> and he would have to worry getting he would have to worry about getting bodily harmed. But it's like, nah, man. I don't find nothing wrong with this. I don't I don't see the issue. <laughs> you did all that just to come up with <laughs> man. Over in Toronto, <laughs> they say that the housing market and rent has gotten out of control and it is the worst it's ever been that people in Toronto have started listing the other side of their bed for rent. The fuck? I'm real lying about the rent you have for my bed. First of all, I think it's mad disrespectful that you think you're going to charge $650 for a twin size bed. <laughs> so, yeah. Half of a queen? Nigga, you could have said half of a king at least. A queen? <laughs> now, listen. we we When we go to these water parks, I'm always hopping at my wife to see if she can get a king size bed. But if I get a they, double queen, he can have his own bed. Hear me out and hear me now. I'm going somewhere. I'm about to fire asses up. <laughs> I'm about to cook our ass. I'm about to burn our fat asses up. We be in that motherfucking bed trying to find the most comfortable space to sit at for the entire night so we wouldn't have to move. Because if one of us move, we are hitting the floor. I always move. I don't think about none of that. That's because I'm sitting there like this. I be focusing on not bumping her (laughs) and her knocking me off the bed. So imagine if you think my It ain't even like that though. Imagine if you... It's actually Oh, you just tried it for real. I just cooked that. You just tried it. I just sat here and thought process that. Wait, what? I can lay flat. You can lay flat. We good. I can even talk. You try. So you think my fat Canadian ass is going to pay somebody $650 to share a queen size mattress with them. That's what they done listed on it. Nigga, don't try to get all serious now. I don't know what you do. You sit on the side of your bed? Ooh. <laughs> this nigga right here this nigga's a hater <laughs> this nigga's a hater yeah ain't nobody going for that shit Canadians that's just like ain't nobody going for the fact that everybody keeps saying that was a girl and I can clearly tell you that was a boy OMG 
<sighs> okay, so Mike Epps. <laughs> boo. Mike oh, Epps and his wife bought his. What? Pause. So why you keep trying to pause us? You don't pause. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> You so Mike that Epps shit. is being talked about enough. Mike Epps and his wife. What is K-Y-R-A? Huh? What's this? What's that name? Kyra? Yeah, okay. What she said. Talking to the mic. Mike Epps and Kyra, his wife, is building an affordable housing in his childhood block. This is amazing. You hear it here first. Powered by God. Why are you reading it like that? I don't know. It just feel good to read it like that. Nah. It's not. Uh-uh. It seems so fake. So what do you think about it? You, you talking about it. What's that? If them houses are affordable, they are in the hood. He already said that. He People gonna be like mad his at, old neighborhood. He gonna be mad as shit come 10 years from now. Yeah. Because they gonna fuck them houses up. <laughs> Why you think that? Some people are appreciative and we want to take care of stuff. I spent twenty hours this week in the hood. <laughs> I see what people that like to collect, quote unquote, say they appreciate the things that the streets give to them. I see how they treat those things. Well, I rode through a neighborhood right for the last four weeks. No, maybe three weeks. In front of this apartment complex lies six carts, all full of trash. From Safeway, CVS, Giant, Whole Foods. If they got a cart, it's in front of the building. Yes. And he stole with a cart. Those carts have now expanded. To 15 carts. All full of trash and junk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait. Oh, in the hood. Still in front of the building? Yes. Where's maintenance and all that stuff? Like, who's cleaning up the area? Like, Shit don't got so bad. Groundskeeper. I got one for you. Shit has got so bad. I literally witnessed a cat run up a tree running from a rat. Rat left. That cat is literally looking around for that rat. And why the hell is you still there to look at the cat? Look around for the rat. Oh, I had the door closed. Wasn't getting me. I couldn't move. I couldn't drive the truck away. But I'm looking. I'm like, oh shit. Why the fuck is that rat jumping up at the tree and the cat sitting up there shaking like he's scared as fuck? So then, rat disappears. Cat comes down the tree, hides behind the tree, but it's like this. <laughs> I'm not making this shit up, though. He heard about the rat. Come to find out they best friends. Oh, it's Tom and Jerry. They were playing. We came right back out of the same street, and that rat and cat was chasing one another. On the next episode. So, Mike Epps, <laughs> I feel for you, brother. You gonna nude. spend? You gonna spend that money on them houses? And them niggas gonna come in and f- Let's fuck the houses up. Hope. Let's <laughs> not hope of that. Let's hope that they actually take care of it, okay, so, so that they can grow and they can be able to do more for other people in areas. What? Back that bottle. It's gone. It's you ain't drinking yours. Put it in mine. I just poured that in my cup. Give me some. No, because you already had your portion and I had mine. No. Absolutely You already fried. You had a FaceTime turn up. <sighs> what you call it? FaceTime happy hour? Mm-hmm. Is that what you call it? I, I get on Instagram. This is her. <laughs> you a hater. You a hater. You want to have a FaceTime happy hour? Can you stop saying that and pour something in my cup? 
Pour me a cup. Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway, next. Pour me a cup, cause I sure need one. Yeah, Mark Epps, boy. He's going to have to spend the same amount of money putting security in them down. No, he's not. Watch. It's going to do well. Right, okay. <laughs> I want to say okay. for the viewers because we're going to rewind back before we put out the interview all we put out was a clip yeah. that went ultra viral Ooh. okay yeah. everybody in the world got this clip it was trending for days on Twitter okay before the interview comes out what shocked me is Jada is doing her book promotional for Worthy Yes. she goes to the breakfast club and she sits down and they ask her about you they can't not not ask like it's so huge and to my surprise she answers it's ridiculous right um and it's nonsense and this is a person that tried a, a shakedown a money shakedown that didn't work we're going to take legal action the reason will responded the reason why jada responded because they know it's true Will's never responded. Mm -mm. And they responded in less than nine hours. They did. That was a fast response. That was because... All right, Brother Malau, listen. <laughs> I do he know. know what I saw in that dressing room. He know other things that I saw. She did all this to try to scare me. But I fear no one but a law. Jada, I'm... Listen, in two weeks, if you don't sue me in two weeks, if Tasha K will have me, I'm back here and I'm dropping evidence. Period. You said I extorted you. You said as a money shakedown. You said a lot of things about me. And you know that the things that you said were untrue. Let's get into a little bit more of it. It's been over two weeks. So, Jada, I'm giving you two more weeks to sue two me. Two more weeks. If you don't sue me, this is what's going to happen. All the sex parties, right? And the people, the men that you hit with dildos, I'm naming names, right? All the, all the salacious stuff that you have done and hurt other people. I'm naming names. You you assassinate my character. You say I extort you. Well, extortion is criminal. Like, I would be in jail right now if I tried to extort. It's been over two weeks. So, Jada. What do we what do we think about this, homie? What do we think, girl? He giving her two more weeks. So, he, gonna give, he giving her four weeks to sue his ass. I ain't giving nobody one day to sue me. Cause back last year, somebody hit my car. My car in turn hits a hand truck and bumps this dude on his knee. This nigga tried to sue me for thirty thousand dollars. Had a nigga walk around this motherfucker with his ears as his feet. Cause I was so stressed out about that shit. And Trying to find a lawyer. We was my wife. She was being so. She was being so me. Babe, we're gonna attack it as it come. And I'm thinking to myself. They suing me, girl. They ain't suing you. Nigga, they, they are suing more me if they suing you. But my question is. No, but your question was you never. I you read sue? the facts. The how facts do, of the matter was that Sue had nothing to stand on because his ass was on drugs. Drugs heavy. Everything in that paperwork, everything that was given. Why would, you, be why as, would you even send that to me man, with all that extra shit? Shoosh. Whatever. You be on pins and needles about stuff, and then when I talk to you about it, you be all brute. It is what it is. It is what it is. The stress and shit don't make nothing better, don't help nothing, and it just causes you to be worn out, tore down, and then. It messes up stuff. the D, huh? Not even that. It's just how you feel about yourself, and you know. I'm not going to talk about a certain area, but it just gives you like that extra. It's not, it's not necessary. So we just it is what it is. What you mean? What you what you not gonna talk about? I feel like that's hate. No, it's not hate. It's just a touchy situation for you. What's a touchy situation? So we gonna keep going. No, keep going. what is a touchy situation? No, I'll pause for that. I wanna know. A touch situation like the topic you got at the end. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> No, you no 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 no. I no, never, no no we no. We never no. did that to each other. No, Man, what the fuck no, you no. Looking, why the fuck you looking at my edges? <laughs> the fuck? Told you you be trying. This is the second week in a row you don't try to cook my ass. <laughs> I ain't taking too much of this shit. <laughs> what? I'm not about to get nobody four weeks to sue me. Just shut the fuck up, nigga. Like if you don't if you don't 
Sue me in two more weeks. <laughs> I'm going to release some more information about them sex cults where you was putting them dildos in boys' asses. He said Dwayne was going to pound town on Will. Pound town? He was getting jiggy. I ain't going to lie to you. For the first time, though, Will don't sue me. This is not... <laughs> this is not personal. What is it? This is not... Um, I'm not calling you this. I'm not like saying you this. Mm-hmm. But you looked a little bit like Saucy Santana at that little 50 uh, year hip hop awards little thing when you was doing your little. You don't got a little chunky. You look a little saucy. Will Smith. He was on stage with his little dumbass hat turned to the side like he back in yeah, they 94. Yeah, they, they had their little Philly fit on. Jay look, Jay, Jazzy Jay look more Jazzy like himself Jay. still than you do. <laughs> chuka chuka do, That's what dude was doing with your butt. He was chuka chuka do, chuka chuka do. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> <coughs> well, we'll uh, find out in two more weeks. Is it two more weeks or now are we at one week? Because wasn't this last week or something? When he put whoever, the, whoever, what's the chick? You got to know these Tasha people. K? Yeah, Tasha K booming right now, boy. She be hitting. She got to get that money so she can pay uh, Cardi. She know Cardi sued her ass. Slim, but she been calling everybody and their mothers out. She don't call Joe out a couple times. She been, she been going at people's head tops. Bro, don't wait for her to sue you. Just go on and release the information. <laughs> because I'm going to be honest with you. You you don't got evidence oh, of this man. shit. You just got word of mouth. Because chances are you was probably in there with him going, chuka chuka choo, chuka chuka choo. <laughs> You probably was with the shit. But he was so he that was his right hand or his assistant or something. He worked with them. Yeah, I know. That was his right hand. So he, he used his left hand and the other dude <laughs> used the right hand. Right hand stomp, left hand stomp. That ain't that's your right hand, that's your left hand. Right hand stomp, <laughs> left hand stomp. <laughs> what was that? That was me. Oh no. Don't do that no more. No. Yeah, release the information because we wanna know. Okay. We wanna know. We'll fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face. Man, Nikki, stop playing with us. See, she trying to promote her album. Ain't nobody asked her to do that. But you see it come when you push something about Cardi. Did that come on? Yeah. That's her op. Fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face. In your fucking face. Over and over and over and over and over again. And she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that a nigga like to... Yo, this motherfucker really likes to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time. When I when I'm not the most confident. Watch this. Watch this. Like, he likes to play games with me because he knows her, I'm not an easy girl. He, he knows. Yesterday I could have been out. I could have been chilling. I could have been this and that. He knows I'm in my house. He knows that I'm chilling. He knows I'm not doing the most. And I really been sparing you. I really been sparing you. You been fucking fending yourself. You bitch ass nigga because of your bitch ass album and shit. And you really been fucking doing me dirty after so many fucking years that I'm motherfucking up your ass. <laughs> Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your bitch ass. And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever the fuck I tell you something, you don't take shit seriously. And I'm so tired of it. Just say it. That's fucked up though. That's real life. Cause you fucking. Cause it's like a cry for help. Like you don't listen to me when it's just me and you behind the doors having a conversation. Like I'm really telling you how I feel, or no, I'm really trying to express something to you, and oh, then shit. you in a situation well, took it as I don't give a fuck what you say. But the only way you gonna respond, or the only way I'm gonna be able to get the energy I want out of you, I gotta go to social media, and then I gotta put my business out there. Knowing that eventually I might go back to your eight shit ass, but that's the only way I can communicate with you. That's fucked up. That ain't Cardi what hurt. Looking. She need a hug. She needs some real friends at the moment. That ain't what I was looking. That ain't what I heard. What? I don't know why you heard that. What you mean? That ain't what I heard. What you mean? Sorry. 
That girl was yelling to the top of her motherfucking lungs in that goddamn room for the motherfucking, uh, for her baby, for her neighbors, for all the millions and millions of she people around the world out. who was doing this song. He told you he was a dog. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Cardi B. No one gives a fuck. But my wife. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry you're upset, Cardi. I know you on the you. He got you out here looking crazy on the goddamn internet talking to people who don't give a fuck. That's what she did. But I'm glad you did that. Because you gave us something to talk about on episode 133 of the podcast. I just feel like. Make sure you're watching. Cry- For people who don't you're listening, subscribe stuff right and now. She just released to let y'all know. That's just like what Megan. She was, it was a cry for help. And everybody laughed at it or whatever and ignored it. But, I mean, they're human. They're celebrities, but they're still human. Oh, so that's how you felt about the Meg exposing the dude she used to do? I'm saying how she, like was spiraling even down to songs and certain things I mean it's just what it is what it is but she can't be in our friend because he did the same thing she did hurt people hurt people and that's just that what, what it say? is that's it, excuse, ooh, though. let's get into this interesting topic oh shoot. Uh, cut that shit off you can't talk to them oh don't yeah. do the baby mama like that I'm doing her like that oh she better call you back. Do the baby mama like that. So you got up here, um, thought about ego. <laughs> Cause you got a big ego. Oh, did you see it? Such a huge ego. <laughs> While you worried about her body shape and she gained a few pounds and all that kind of stuff, what she's never told you is she had an eight inch peen and she married five. Amen. She died to the thought of the eight inch peen and accepted your five. And you got a gut. And if it's five and you got a gut, you you can't see it. Hey, dog, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Because we always out here trying to act like <sighs> my wife is letting herself go and she doesn't sexually satisfy me. Let your wife talk a buck. Your ego is too fragile. That's why she never brought it up. You have no idea how many women are sparing men's egos in the bedroom and in, and in counseling. Because you never get over it. You never get over it if she really told you how she felt about your pain. You would never get over it if she really told you how she felt about your teeth. You would never get over it if she really kept it a buck about your back hair. You would never get over it. You would never get over it. Some of y'all's breath, your nails. Child, cuticles. These men's egos are so fragile. You would never get over it. Right. Oh, <laughs> that is true. You said that. I ain't getting over none of that shit. <laughs> you tell me my motherfucking back hair is getting on your nerves. I deal with that. You That's not that. I said that about your chest hair. Yeah, you said it about my chest hair. I said about your pubic hair. You said it about my, my pubic hair. You say, man, look, <laughs> I'm tired of this. You need to cut this down. I did it one time, and then it was like, I don't feel like I really did it any justice to it. This is not a head. So when I go get a wax, you going to go get a wax, too? 
Fuck no. I'm not doing that shit. Fuck no. First of all, I'm not assuming the position. Put you on the wax calendar. Slim, she wax ain't about girl. to. Slim, I swear to God, she is not pulling my leg <laughs> off. I can't. I can't endure it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. I know, I know she probably gonna uh, uh, cut my shit down low before she go pow. No, I don't want none of that shit. Mm-mm. I'm okay. Dude ain't lying though. What you think about that, babe? All that shit he said. Facts. All I can do is just laugh. I was cackling. Why? I was cackling. Is there things that you think about me that you know would screw my ego up? What? Girl, you tell me that already. What? You told me, like, sometimes you be a jackrabbit. <laughs> I don't think about it as I tell you all the time. You don't got to, you. you you don't hold back. <laughs> you don't hold back at all. I feel as though in the moment of the action and you ain't hitting it right, yeah. like you really like on some bullshit. Boop, stop. <laughs> stop. What the fuck is wrong with you? Absolutely not. <laughs> so we've been together too long. So <laughs> in our relationship, it's possible I may endure it a little bit more than some of you young niggas. But let someone tell you some of the hard shit she yeah, say sometimes. You try to give me some of that bullshit action and head shit. What are you doing? No. Yeah. Ooh. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Stop. She ain't said that in a while, but she used to say it. <laughs> <laughs> just like last night, she put me on timeout talking about, you ain't gonna get yours. I ain't gonna get mine. You just sit there for a little bit. <laughs> But then she had me sitting there while she had her ass up in the air. I'm sitting there like, look, I'm looking back. I'm like, this, this joint is growing and growing. I'm looking back again. I'm like, so I'm like sliding to get closer. And she's like, uh, you move. So she started trying to flatten out. Then she started, pow, 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 pow. And I'm sitting there like, oh, shit. I don't know how much I can do with this. She was like, you ready yet? I'm like, bitch, I've been fucking ready. You know what so we're like, are you sure you're ready? I'm sitting there like, bitch, I can punch your ass up right now. If you don't shut the fuck up, let's go. <laughs> Come on. Boy, I jumped up like a hound dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you have your dog sitting like set and you oh, get their food and shit together? Like puppy. And then you get their food together, mixing it, taking your time. You sit the bowl down. You step away from the bowl and they like, and you like, Eat and then they go. Boy, when she said eat, I said let's go. <laughs> Boy, I assumed that position fast as shit. I jumped up fast as a motherfucker. I ain't lying. I did. Pound town, look at that pound no. town. No. Her pussy paint. She ran into that ground. Ain't the shit? Like... <laughs> I'm glad you don't know the words, but it's still. Oh. I find it. No. Let's see. Told you, we're going to have a good time on this podcast, y'all. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Shut up! <laughs> what? Talking about some dang, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> What's her name? Sexy Red? Yeah. Everybody was hating on Sexy Red. She out this joint. She out here looking doofy now. Pregnant this shit she again. doing, this shit she doing right now. All right, let's see. Let's see how the words go, y'all. I was close. Like, pound that's town. just like other uh, drink with uh, drink. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. It was just Make so that pussy breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, make like, that pussy oh breathe. <laughs> make that ass shake. <laughs> oh, make that pussy breathe. It was like all oh, these songs suck. Well, who got the ops? Why are these songs not song? And what is it? And all of a sudden, all right, let's that get to the on. juiciness now. Sharing on social media, you act as a single parent, but you're not. Is that misleading? No, because what if you feel like... No, nah, fuck that shit. Parent. No, 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 no. I want to get to where I want to get to. I think... You just asked. 
I'm back to myself. If sharing, if it is, if you're a single parent, it like I said, no, because you can be in a relationship. That's just like being married. You can be in a marriage and still feel lonely. You just act like on a piece of paper, documented, and you physically are with somebody, we ain't but you may about feel that not whole. So if you are a parent in a relationship and you have kids and you feel like you have that partner, but you're out here doing everything as a single parent, then that's how you feel. You feel like a single parent. But does social media need to know? If you if that's your venting point, you want people to to be like, you know, look, I ain't got nobody else to talk to. I just like putting it out there. Then that's what you put out there. But who's to say that everything that everybody posts is actually what it is? If you don't directly say, hey, you good, you all right? Like, because there's I'm a certain level of consistency this. that most people pay attention to in this world we live in. There's not a lot of people. I mean, folks don't run their life off of consistency. So sometimes folks run run their life based off of the spur of the moment, and I understand that. But when I understand a person isn't social, and they're starting being social out of the blue, and they're doing certain things that I think um, are a little misleading, I'm just basically saying if I am posting on social media as if I'm the only one working hard as a parent. Is that uh, is that misleading? So basically, is that a shot at the person that's not pulling his weight? It's giving a Cardi B. It's giving. I told you behind scenes that this ain't what it is, and you but ain't what do you think? And you ain't listening. So now the world, so, so now everybody else will have something to say. So what do you think you're gonna get by by basically telling people that don't matter? You were saying that if you're not social, and now you're becoming social. Yeah, if you haven't been one of those people to share your daily grind as it relates to how you prepare for the day with your children, what do you think, what what type of love and support you think by sharing that stuff on social media now? Is that, that could be a cry for help, like you said. I don't want to look at it that way. I just think I want to look at it as if somebody's scheming. Somebody's scheming? Yeah. How is that scheming if I just decide to post my daily? Could you well, how do you kids? tell me when I can post my daily? Who are you to tell me when I can post what I or want to post on my page? Or could you be using your kids to get the attention of somebody? Or you can delete yourself. Or, uh, what if you trying to use your kids to get the attention of someone that ain't doing their part? But again, that goes to I talk to you behind the scenes and you ain't do I just seen that joke that one. So, so now <laughs> you ain't doing the only way that I can get your attention is to put it out there in the atmosphere. Then you can be in your feelings. That's personal. But then wouldn't that be added pressure on your relationship then? As if as far as like the bickering? Is Especially it? if you're not willing to just Maybe walk that's away the from battery the in the back that's needed. Mm. Because maybe ain't nothing really being said. Mm. You know, some people post stuff and then somebody comment. And it's just that one comment that you really register with. And you feel like, damn, I thought I was tripping. But for somebody else to say it, so I'm not tripping. Mm. So this really is like I'm being played type situation. And I mean, when it comes to the kids... It's always a touchy situation. Always touchy. Because anybody who has children and that is and you're in, in a relationship and the children love your spouse, whether that it is their biological or not, it is forever a touchy touchy situation when it comes time so you feel like you need to dip. Like you start evaluating and thinking about things and trying to figure out a better way to deal with a situation and how you can deal with a situation and it'll be an amicable situation where everybody can be cordial because not everybody can be grown but not everybody is genuinely mature in being grown like when you're mature and being grown you and a person can be like this ain't working it's not cutting out we can't do this but I don't wish you any ill. I don't want to keep you from anything. 
So, set up arrangements, keep things, you know, mutual. If the the mom decides she don't want to be with you or the dad decides he don't want to be with me or whatever, but say the dad is the person that was taking the kids to school in the morning. Well, you, even though we don't live together, is it okay that you, I still come take them to school? Like, don't knock the kids off of their routine. Don't take them off their regimen because y'all ain't good. Because that's when trauma is going to be in place and then the kids going to need therapy later on down the line. That's why I say when it comes to kids and relationships, that's a tricky, uh, a tricky and a touchy situation because. How about this? What if. What if you want? What if you want so much as it relates to finances to be able to pull your weight at the expense of your family? All right, let's say say you the leader of the household, but you're not the financial financial leader leader of the household. Okay, isn't your responsibility once you have kids to be able to put your own self? Uh, put your own selfish needs aside for the betterment of your family. So if if earning potential may be more um, consistent on one end, but uh, okay, you can do this here and there. How about you sacrifice this time because you understand that this is a guarantee versus your spur at a moment opportunity. It may be okay. a big payday in the beginning, but this is consistency right here. So there's no you, there's no guarantee that this big payday is something that's gonna be uh lucrative long term. But in the in 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 the present um this 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 agreement that we're working in right now isn't benefiting the person that got the more potential earning power in the moment. Okay, so that's basically like if I was working some odds and ends or whatever, but they're not consistent and you're the one Yeah, so you working three jobs just to make what I'm doing for one job. But you only doing that because you don't want to seem like I'm less you, than you, yeah, oh, I'm not or the one as the, the, as the, the yeah, as the, the man. I get it. I get it, but that's when you're you're not grown. You're not grown. You're not thinking of the betterment of the situation as a whole. You're thinking about your ego. You're thinking about it. You know. But under what happens to the person that never, re- never, never matures enough, even with kids and the whole family, to be able to put his knees aside or her knees aside for the betterment of the family. But you, you. I think everyone makes it seem like kids aren't uh, a bill. Uh, um, like kids aren't a potential um, stalemate as it comes becomes in relationships. Sometimes you feel like your family isn't complete unless it's the mommy and the daddy. I get what you're saying. That's why I say it's hard. It's a touchy situation when kids are involved because I guarantee you, whatever the situation is would not be going on if kids weren't involved. It would even be a situation. But when kids are involved, it's touchy because you don't want to ruin the kids. You don't want to ruin their routine. You don't want to. But then eventually you have to take the kids out of the equation because guess what? At this moment, they're kids. They're going to grow up. They're going to grow out of certain things. Things are always going to forever change for them because yearly we all grow older. Yearly we all experience different experiences and things. The difference is as children, they are in a position where we have to protect them. And if we're hurting ourselves, we're not protecting them. Okay, then if that's the case, if you're saying it in that knowledge, then why play the little uh, childish social media games then? Because th- what that does is that negates everything you just said. The children are not on social media. Yeah, but you are using them as a, a a tactic. How am I using them as a tactic just to say how my day goes? And my day just so happened to include that I got fucking kids. So my day isn't I get up, I, I do, 
my meditation, drink my bloom, take my coffee, and I'm out the door. No, my life is I got to get up three hours earlier than expected because I got kids I got to prepare for. I got to get them together. I got to get myself together. I have to mentally prepare for this. But I have to make sure that my kids are good. And just because I decide to post that I have my kids to deal with and take care of, it, and take care of why is that an issue for you? Are they your kids? Are you speaking to me? Yeah. How you I'm just asking. Why How would it be an issue for me? No, I'm just saying. You this as, ain't a personal as a, thought. No, as an opinion. outsider. Oh. If that's just like if you were talking about it, why would it be an issue for me? Those aren't my kids. That's not. That's how that person get ready for, for their day, or how they decide to vlog their life, or decide that they want to let people know what's going on. That's just like the random when we go on date nights and we post it. Why do we have to let social media know we went on a date? I don't. I don't. I don't post that all the time. You do. I'm just saying, but oh, why? Okay. Me, I'm I'm just I'm not like that. What though. is the purpose of social media? But I'm saying I'm not like that though. But I'm just asking. I know how to put my phone away when I'm with you. I'm at, Ooh. You know how to put your phone away, but I look at it as capturing memories. That's it. So there's what's the ooh. difference? You just there in a moment. Don't ooh. But you post on social media, but it ain't me. Ooh. Oh, so I, you want to call you your motherfucking bluff, so, nigga? So you want, you want, <laughs> I know you lie. Ah, you, uh, you, you you lost this one. How? Round three lost. How? Round three won to me. Listen, okay, what you post to me? I ain't about to go there. Let's go there. That oh, ain't got oh, nothing oh. to do with the podcast. I ain't talking I, about that. It ain't got nothing to do with the podcast. I ain't, I ain't talking about that, Let's man. Let's get into... See, this is what I be, I'm glad we're having this discussion. Let's get into... If women, that was how I felt... just fell. like men get amnesia in the moment when we having discussions about... I'm uh, asking. Just about real life... Stop it. I'm talking to you right now. Because I'm about to spit some shit and I'm about to shoot pow right, right down at you. Okay. Folks in the moment when we having a deep discussion about something, they get amnesia about the things people have done in the past. There's certain things that I've always done as a, as it relates to this woman right here that that she either copies from me because she be, she thinks that's oh that's a cool routine. Like it's little it's the little things, right? Like I I am I started the, the oh we put on deodorant together. She talking about posting stuff. I I started okay, like man, let me get a let me get a card, not because I'm buying her a card, because I want her to know that's exactly how I feel. So when I read a card, I look at that card as if this is how I feel about my wife. I see my wife in these words. Boom. I give random, I post random pictures about her on social media out of the blue, telling not just her how much I appreciate her, but letting y'all know how much I appreciate her. Boom. For her birthday last year, I created a, a whole collage just showing the maturations of my wife, of how she looked. It may not have been last year. It may have been the year before. It may have been for a birthday or Mother's Day. Boom. I've done these type of things. Babe. So for you to sit here in the moment and have amnesia saying, I don't ever post. And man, don't post you. You tripping. And I'm not even about to do this debate with you because you, it's lost already. It's not it's lost. Me often, it's... I am more often posting how much I love my wife on social media than she is. And she spends entirely way more time on social media than I do. And I do all the promoting and posting for this podcast. So I know for a fact and the truth of the matter is God knows my heart. So God knows how I much I care prepared. about my wife. You just went off the rail to boom and your no, boom still is, went over no, the moon no, and no, back at you. No, because you I said, said with the random. When, when if you say somebody. You, you said you might not be posting me and I'm not talking about the podcast stuff. Sir, if it ain't my birth, so do you say no, no, so, she, so look, 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 no, do you say okay, so I got up, this is random, a random Thursday I got up and said, babe, we gonna carpool and take you to work Are you posting that? I did that? that twice Are you posting that? I did that twice Are you posting that? Are you posting that? 
Are you posting it? Are you posting it? That's what I'm saying. What if I was that person that cared about things of that? You ain't posted no on my birthday and holidays and stuff. No, that has nothing to do with that ain't, I'm that saying ain't how it's going daily. Down. It's randomly. Randomly. It's random posts. But you just randomly said for her birthday and for the man. I also said randomly. She just took an L, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna take my L. I'm gonna take this L. See, that's what you wanna call it. She just took an L, y'all. She don't wanna accept it. You don't I don't wanna accept it. I will accept if it's facts. It is fact. It's fa- it is facts. You know it's fact. What facts do I know? And you sitting here snickering. Because <laughs> she getting upset, y'all. Oh, because I'm getting upset, but I'm, we, I don't we're know having why a conversation. We we're having a conversation, but you just went to do, do your boom, boom to try and prove a point that wasn't even proven. It was proved. On your end. Okay. But on your end, and then you go, that's an ego. That's like some narcissistic ass shit right there. Don't do that. <laughs> you know me better than that. <laughs> you know me better than that. Go ahead. You know me better than that. Do I? I take L's for my family all the time. What does that so, have to do with anything? The L's you take for the family. Narcissistic people want to be controlling. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know you won when Cat got your tongue. Nah. We she can't eat. We, she can't even say like, anything. We not even going to go there. If you got to get upset, we are going to go there. Cause you don't even gotta get upset. I'm not upset. You are upset. I already know. And it, don't don't try to pay me back in blood or nothing like that. Oh, so now you done? No, I'm good. You was the one. We're still discussing. I'm finished talking. Is, I'm trying okay. to understand why you giving me that. Hmm. Oh. You went off topic on it, but we go ahead. How I go off topic on it? You you specifically no. added something into the equation about not posting. Mm-hmm. You talking about something me getting you back. That ain't got nothing to do with this. So back to the matter at hand. So you feel like the person randomly posted their daily No, I'm just I just find it funny. That's all so I didn't I did not mean I honestly thought when we discussed this pre production, you would have went down my road. I did not know you was gonna make it this deep. <laughs> I promise you I didn't. I was trying to make this a fun part, not a serious part. But that's when it comes with the kids. I wanted you to think with like, my like no, we're not thinking about the goddamn kids. We thinking about how how the tea is boiling over hot. We thinking about the mess that this looks like. We ain't thinking about none of that shit you talking about. All oh, the BBs and all what the kids. What the mess it and, looks like and, and, is- and, and, and Cardi B crying for help. Fuck all that. These motherfuckers, them two motherfuckers, Megan and them, they rich. They ain't got poor people issues. They can be as human as they want to. They got people that they can pay to make them feel good. You can pay a hundred dollars to a nigga to say, "Oh, Meg," and you can pay forty dollars to a motherfucker and get something. So clearly, that's what they doing. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> There we go, babe. You brought it back around. No, I know you brought it back around the bullshit. You try to circle shit. You, you, you left a Look comma at, at the end of the situation and not a period. I did. I put a period. You did not. You did not. No. You did not finish the statement. I finished it with the action marks. You finish it of what you wanted to finish it as. And you finish it the way and you wanted to finish it too. That's fine. That's the problem. Oh, God. What's the problem? Tell me. Tell me something good. Mm. What's the problem? Because clearly, you this this is this last topic is attack Mike. Always. It's not attack you Mike. You said that's the problem. I finished it the way you you call me narcissist. Now you're trying to say I'm controlling. Shit. No, now you're trying to say I'm controlling. Because you said that's the problem. I finished it the way I wanted to finish it. And that's the problem. That's the, that was I your response. Say you, I said that's the problem. You you say how and I, you say how you finish it and how I finish it. There we go. Oh, so, so why we is that two different. You just said and that's the problem. not complete. 
How? We both had an opinion on it. That completes the, the issue. Everyone, you got to say what you wanted to say. I got to say what I wanted to say. But what are you saying? We, I just said what I said. Don't don't do that. Don't try to tell me what I'm. You trying to say I said all that and you didn't hear me? Yeah. What are you saying? Oh, they, now that that's hate. <laughs> that right there, that is hate. That is hate right there. I said all that shit, and you clearly say it to my face. I'm a narcissist. I'm controlling. Yes. And I said so much stuff. You did not hear me, which in turn sounds like you're a narcissist and controlling, and you don't listen to how I feel. That is me. You choose to stay here. (laughs) 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 Ain't nothing else on that damn list. Is that your question? Is that your? That ain't nothing else is, on that goddamn you list to talk about. Are you for help or something? There ain't you, shit else on that list to talk you about. You trying to give somebody some cues? Some yeah, we took, a, we took a pod off, y'all, but... So you try to help So Darius McC- McCray was arrested for not paying his child support for the second time. Listen to me. Just because the judge went to this guy... When he was in the prime of his career. Ja, what I call him? What's his name, bro? What did I say he was? McCray. Darius. Darius is 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 the son from Family Matters. Right? Just because when he first had this child, he was making a hundred thousand. Doesn't necessarily mean, Judge, that ten years later. He's still making that same amount of money and can afford to pay that same fee or whatnot. There has to be... But you ask when you got to call for adjustments. What if this man too busy trying to just keep up with life that he ain't got time to keep spending the money it's going to cost to keep going back to that court to ask for adjustment? Or his child support fee. Can, or, can he, or unless he can just walk right in the building, write a, uh, bring his little notice, turn in his W-2, let them know exactly what he was making, and that's how it settled. Wasn't this judge not watching the news for the last year? Didn't he know the actors was on strike and no one was working? So how is this man going to be able to pay child support when clearly those low-level actors or mid-level actors could barely pay rent, could barely feed themselves. Pulse. But, yeah, he can go for an adjustment. All they got to do is, if he got to write into the court. How you know? know but How you know? How you know he can go to court for an adjustment? Because I know people on child support. Uh-huh. And I know people who've put people on child support. All your friends. And we know somebody who've put their self on child support. All your friends putting their baby daddies on child support. So. Huh. It is what it is. I remember you tried to put me on child support. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Judge, I am with her. I am here. I am me. Don't look up into the space. You try to put me on child support. Because that's not even what it was. <laughs> so you try to put her. Y'all, don't that sound crazy? So you try to put me on child support? <laughs> no, it does not sound crazy. Why don't that sound crazy? Because it ain't, it ain't so your support. It's support for the child. <laughs> it ain't crazy, but that's not even what happened. All right. Guess who that was? Bust the rhyme and his kids. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Shit. Thought I was doing something. <laughs> Life's so incomplete without me. And I you. And not me. And I'm you. Check out my style. No, check out about. my legacy. Good grief. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> I can't. I can't. What you uh, 
So we are in the season. Kanye reveals his first shoe since Adidas dropped him over his anti-Semitic remarks. Y'all. <laughs> you want to see what the shoe is? A sock? <laughs> is it really a sock? <laughs> the shit he been walking around the streets in? You and know, being barefooted? You niggas. They got the bad at homeless man listen, shit. If you would buy a big ass red shoe, you gonna buy them black socks for two fifty with the with the Yeezy label on them. Yeezy, <laughs> man, listen. We are in the season of giving, right? Oh shit! So yes, we are. <laughs> We are the season again. Oh my goodness. So I almost we forgot. are partner at with Glitz. No, say it correctly. We are partnered J- up. Say it again. We are partner up with Glitz by JP. Yeah. Alright. Let me get this off. Well, she, she should have been cued in to have a conversation so she can have something to say too. She can't. What's she doing? What's she- She's momming. Who the fuck is? Fuck them kids. So, we are partnering up with Glitz by JP. Further details will be explained, but at the moment, all we need is for you. If you know anyone in need, we are donating two wigs. Two. So, further details, again, will be explained. But right now, all you need to know is if you know someone... Who is in need? Who is in a battle of? If it's alopecia, who's in the battle chemo, of? Or who is in the battle with, with? Of you love with, saying of and, of and everything. Yes. Life so incomplete without me. I'm trying to check out my something, legacy. Doing something good. Yeah, we doing and something good for the season. You all sit here and crack goddamn jokes. Ooh, you sound like Cardi B. I'm about to buy a wig for your ass. I wig. So, again, <laughs> Glitz by JP is one of my good friends. She has a hairline. And you, the thing is, the stipulations, you must be able to get to her. And her shop is located in the Clinton area of Maryland. So you must be able to get there. If you can't get there. In the Clinton, Maryland. I mean, in the Clinton area of Maryland. Of Maryland. Her shop is do- do- located in Clinton, Maryland. Not in the Clinton of Maryland. <laughs> in the Clinton area of Maryland. Clinton, Maryland. So what? I said it how I said it. Ain't that how you say a bunch of shit? Michael, leave me the fuck alone. Again, we're giving away two wigs. Two. And if you know somebody who is in a battle. Breast cancer. Of being a survivor and would like to look nice Hair for loss. the holidays mm. and get a nice wig, not synthetic, everything's raw. And they want a wig styled for them. Front it. Please share their story. We don't need any names, anything. If Why you don't, don't want to no give all, those, if, all that information. If you want to keep that private, as far as like, you know, if they got a handle, a tag, okay. But if you don't want us to actually say that person's name online, whatever, when we announce the winners, but you, they have a story, please DM us and we will pick two people. Two. The policy and everything that you need to do to cast, put somebody in. Like she said. Yada, yada, yada. Further details will Boobie. be forthcoming about this contest. Bars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just want to strangle you. Just want to strangle you. Like the well, text I sent you? 
You saw that? So long. Did you see the sex sensation? Nope. So long. You patty. So long. Disrespectful. So long. What do you rent. call a deaf? I do, 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 do. What does a deaf gynecologist read? Sign language. Nope. What? A deaf gynecologist? Lips. <laughs> you're not laughing because you don't know what a gynecologist says. <laughs> <laughs> that fucker. Ah! That's why you wouldn't know. What would you call a fly urologist? Stop this shit. I don't feel like they get like you got my mind like do 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 Dr. Drip because <coughs> the urologist deals with you know your urine and stuff Drip well if you don't got nothing I ain't got nothing so annoying you gotta uh, let's come to the end no do you Bye, got something y'all. you want to